Curious as to what the weather's going to be like on your wedding day? Go to brideaccess.com, click on the weather link, and there you can receive a customized weather outlook for your wedding day. Compliments of KSL Live 5 Weather and brideaccess.com. Tell me you will be, you will be my Welcome brides, I'm Amy with The Flower Patch and today we're excited to bring you a do-it-yourself tip. We have a showroom full of do-it-yourself things. We have all the tips, tools for success. We have all the supplies that you'll need to do your own centerpieces, bouquets, boutonnieres, corsages, whatever it may be. We also have bunch pricing. Buy a bunch, save a bunch. Our bunch pricing list that we can provide for each bride has all the popular wedding flowers on it. It gives you the name, the number of stems in the bunch, the price of the bunch, and the retail price so you can see how much money you're saving by buying it by the bunch. It also gives you all the information that you'll need in care and handling of your flowers after they leave the flower patch. We also have lots of suggestions for you to help you so that you can do it yourself. We have rental glass so that you can rent the vases instead of buy them. We have lots of pictures, a whole book full of pictures of things that you can do with the rental glass, with bunches that you buy, making it simple for you to do it yourself. Now, we're gonna have a little demonstration on how simple it is. This is one bunch of dendrobium orchids. With this one bunch of dendrobium orchids, you can easily make a centerpiece for your table. You take the bunch, you put them in the vase and arrange them how you'd like. You can add a ribbon, you could add uh, candles around the bottom, you can do any of those kinds of things. Now, if you wanted to give yourself a little variation, you could take this, say, taller vase and put three or four in it, and then also take a smaller vase and put three or four in it. And now you have some variation in the different, in your tables so that you can have different sizes and give your table some interest. The other thing that you can do really simply is this vase of roses. It's just rose heads put in a vase with a little bit of water and some rocks to stabilize it. The other thing you can do is float flowers. There's lots of different flowers that float really well. You can float Fuji spiders. Another one of my favorite is the Gerber daisy. Gerber daisies are so popular and so fun right now and easy to use. You just take, cut the little head off, leaving enough for it to float in, and set them in your dish. You can do the same thing with flowers and candles mixed. You could put rocks in the bottom, you could put crystals in the bottom. Your imagination is where it ends. If you can dream it, the Flower Patch can help you make it. You're watching brightaccess.com. In our efforts to help you plan your wedding and take out some of the stress, brightaccess.com has a new wedding blog, and it's just for you. Get detailed information from the top wedding professionals in the industry, plus tips from our own brightaccess.com experts. Happy planning from brightaccess.com, where you can find everything you need to plan a wedding, <laughs> grooms not included.